<laughs> Welcome to day three of 12 days of yoga challenge. Today we're going to work a little bit on our hips, open up the sides as well. So let's get started. Start in a nice and comfortable seated position. Gentle sway as you settle in. Gentle movements around your neck. Notice how your shoulders feel. And when you're ready, slowly closing your eyes. And start to bring your attention to your breath. Each inhale gently lifting and opening up. And exhale, relaxing as you settle in. Next inhale, float your hands up high, palms together, your thumbs right in front of your heartbeat. We're going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Each inhale, lift, and exhale, letting go. Two more times, big inhale through your nose, and exhale, softening. One more time, big inhale through your nose, and exhale, letting everything go. Slowly opening your eyes. We're gonna do some side twist opening on your right side. Big inhale to lift. Then exhale to relax and settle in. Nice stretch on the side. Maybe leaning back, opening up your chest. And exhale, rounding all the way to the front. We'll take a stroll to the other side, one step at a time. So same thing here, big inhale to lift. And exhale, relax. Maybe leaning backwards, opening up the chest. And then slowly rounding all the way to the front. We'll make our way to the middle and relaxing our head, our neck here. Slowly making our way up. And some gentle twist towards your right side, opposite, left hand on your opposite knee, your other hand on the back, and then big inhale to lift, and exhale, gently twist. Two more times, big inhale to lift, and easy twist. One more time, big inhale, open up, and as you exhale, bring your hand behind you, Land it on the opposite knee and just drop your head, your neck here. Make a gentle sway. And then slowly come all the way up. Same on the other side. Big inhale, looking backwards. And exhale, easy twist on your left. Two more times. Big inhale. And exhale, just a little bit more. One more time. Big inhale. And exhale, bringing our hand behind us to the front, and then dropping the head and shoulders. Nice release for your lower back as well. And rounding up to sit. We'll meet on our hands and knees. Nice and easy, one step at a time. No rush here, kind of warming everything up. Maybe swaying side to side. Notice how your wrists feel. Maybe some gentle stretches here. Let your inhales and exhales carry you through. Tucking your toes, shifting your hips to the back. Big inhale, lift up to your downward dog. Settling here. Maybe a gentle paddle to open the back of your legs. Nice and easy. Next inhale, come all the way up to your tippy toes. And easy, exhale all the way down. Two more times, big inhale, lift. And exhale, relax. One more time, big inhale, come all the way up to your tippy toes. And exhale, settle back down. Tucking your chin gently around all the way up to your plank pose. Nice long wave, gentle sway to settle here. Nice and easy. Now leaning towards your right, side plank on your right. Any variation you want, you can put your leg, your knee right down. Big inhale, spinning everything open to the left. And as you exhale, bringing the palm back to the mat, come back to the middle, softening your elbows all the way down to the mat. 
big inhale, tuck your toes, lift up to your plank pose, and side plank on the other side. Any variation you want, stacking your hips on each other. And exhale, coming back to the middle, softening your elbows, coming all the way down. Big inhale, tuck your toes, and lift your hips back to downward dog. So here, nice and easy, long flat back. Now making your way to the top of your mat, one step at a time, nice and easy, opening your hips, opening the back of your legs as well, swaying side to side. Nice forward bend from here. And notice how your inhales and exhales carry you through. Left fingertips on the mat, big inhale, twist to open everything on the right. And as you exhale, maybe drop your hand behind you and slowly let it go down to the mat. Same on the other side, staying soft, soft on your knees. Big inhale to twist and open up. And exhale, drop your hand behind you if it feels good. And slowly let it come all the way down. Now we're gonna round up to standing one notch at a time. Slowly feel your back opening. And once you reach the top, big inhale, float your hands above you. And exhale, rounding all the way down. We'll make our way to down dog. One step at a time, nice and easy, no rush. Settling here. Next inhale, float your right leg up high, down dog split, nice opening. And your knees to open up your hips a little bit more. And when you're ready, slowly step that foot right between your hands. Low lunge, settling in. Nice and steady on both feet. Big inhale, round all the way up to standing. And exhale, relax in this high lunge. One more time, big inhale to lift. And as you exhale, easy twist towards your right. Open up your hands, arms. Big inhale, nice reverse. And as you exhale, wind everything open towards your left, spinning your back toes to your heels, grinding. Keep your heel grounded for a or two. Settling here. So anything you want to do to open up your hips, feel adjust, feel comfortable to adjust, and settle in. Nice and easy. Next inhale, we'll lift everything up, up high. And exhale, relaxing. Two more times, big inhale, float your hands above with you. And exhale to settle in. One more time, big inhale to lift. And easy, exhale, relaxing. Reverse forward from here, big inhale, leaning backwards, nice stretch. And as you exhale, bring your forearm on your thighs and spinning your belly button open towards the left side. Nice and easy opening. And then bring your back heel to your toes, spinning it to the front. Come back down to your low lunge, nice and easy. We'll lift our hips all the way up and ground our back heel behind you for a single leg forward bend. Relaxing your head and shoulders, bring your chest close to your thighs. Maybe a gentle bend on the knees if that's too much for you. And just staying here for a couple of breaths. Relaxing your head and your neck, letting go of everything you're not using. When you're ready, sink back down to your low lunge, leaning towards your left, step that front foot behind you for a plank pose, and easy softening all the way down. And then gently shifting your weight back to the tabletop, tucking your toes big and he'll lift all the way back to downward dog, nice, easy. Same on the other side, big and he'll float your left leg up high, down dog split on the side, gentle bend on the knees, open up your hips, and step that foot right between your hands, low leg from here. Once you're steady, big and he'll round all the way up, high lunge, lift everything up, and exhale, relax. One more time, big inhale to lift. And as you exhale, spin everything open, nice twist on the right. Inhale, maybe leaning backwards. And as you exhale, spinning everything up and open towards the other side for a warrior two here. Nice and easy, grounding your back heel, swing, 
side to side, see how your hips feel. Make sure you're extra concrete here. Maybe adjust your foot if it's necessary. And settle in. Next, inhale, float your arms up high. And ease yourself. Settle in. Two more times. Big inhale, lifting everything up. And exhale, relax. One more time. Big inhale, float your hands above you. And exhale, relax and settle. Next, inhale, we'll tip backwards for reverse warrior. Nice stretch. And easy exhale, bringing our forearm on our thighs and spinning everything open on the right side. And when you're ready, bring your back heel up to your toes, ground your right hand back to your low lunge, and then lift your hips and ground your heels behind you for a single forward leg fit. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And then relax your head and neck. Bring your chest close to your thighs. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Gentle bend on the knees if it's too much. Make sure you're comfortable. And when you're ready to get out of this one, come back down to your little lunge, sinking your hips. And then leaning towards your right, step that front foot behind you for a nice and easy plank pose. And softening all the way down to your belly. And then bring everything up to your up dog. Nice and easy, shoulder blades together, opening your chest. If that's too much tension on your lower back, you can come a little bit lower. Find something that works for you. And settle in here. Maybe gentle sway side to side. And when you're ready, shift your hips to the back of the room. And then relax on child pose. Forehead on the mat. And on your heels. And letting everything go. Bring your attention back to your breathing. Each inhale opening you up. And exhale, feeling a little bit heavier as you relax here. You can stay here for as long as you like. Get a nice stretch for the lower back, for your body. When you have enough of this one, slowly round all the way back up to And that's it. Day three of the 12 days of yoga challenge. Let me know what you think about it as always. And sorry about the noises. I keep trying to find a moment of silence.